Hello Topaz Studio users, this is Joe Jasper, and I was a little frustrated. I'd like to dodge and burn in Topaz Studio, but uh, there's not dodge and burn brushes, so we have to get creative using color overlays. So I did make an effect uh, called dodge and burn and made it public, uh, which uh, hopefully will soon appear for you. Um, and what we do is create uh, two color overlays. This is the original image I'm going to use for demonstration, the raw image uh, that I did apply some basic adjustments to get to this stage. And then I want to uh, use my dodge and burn effect, which you see in the upper left effects panel here. And what that does is it creates two color overlays with masks. Uh, the first color overlay is white and the second color overlay is black. And their uh, opacity is set relatively low so that uh, hopefully people don't go too overboard. The mask uh, that should be applied to each should be an inverted mask. If it's not, then click the invert button. And then you're going to use a white or gray brush depending on the degree of dodging and burning you want to do. And you can always go back over it. That's the beauty with masks. And apply dodging. Uh, with the white uh, color overlay, dodging coming from a darkroom term uh, because the longer you exposed an image, the darker it would get. And so if you want some of the image to be darker than the others, you would uh, <clears throat> dodge with a little blind to keep things from getting too dark. So here I'm painting with a gray brush. Uh, to see what that looks like first. And if it's not light enough that com comes out, I could always go back with a whiter brush to make it brighter. So just, uh, I'm not going to overkill it here for the purpose of demonstration, but you can see things are getting lighter. And then uh, in the areas that are uh, perceived as being too bright, uh, we're going to go down to the black color overlay layer, um, which is down here, and expand that, and click on the mask, which uh, is black here for me. And then I'm going to use a brush. Again, uh, something maybe on the gray side, because I don't think it needs to be toned down too much. Uh, I want to keep some of this light drama going on. And then I just paint over, and by using anything lighter than black as your uh, brush, you're actually painting in black. Uh, the overlay, the uh, blend mode on these layers, by the way, is set at overlay, uh, which gives this uh, nice intense lighting look. For something like portraiture, you might want to use something softer like soft light. And here I am uh, varying uh, the brush uh, lightness to dodge or burn specific areas a little lighter or darker as you can see on the mask. And uh, so that's the before and after. Uh, looks like the sky may be a little too bright so let's uh, reopen the white overlay mask and uh, do we want a brush or since it's a fairly broad area maybe uh, use the gradient filter and uh, bring that in. And probably turn down the edge awareness so that uh, the clouds do pretty well. And so there we go. Uh, so now we have our before and after dodge and burn bringing up some of the shadows, bringing down some of the highlights uh, with the control of a specific brush.